Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error code that is 185009 as unknown error. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try to enter the game multiple times. It may take multiple attempts to get into the game. So you can try it multiple times and then check if that does not work. Do not ignore this step, restart your computer once and then check. Next we set DNS to auto. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to network and internet. Now, if you're using Ethernet, you can click on Ethernet. If Wi Fi, select Wi Fi. Select your network over here. And then scroll down. Over here, you can see DNS server assignment. Click on edit. And make sure the automatic DHCP is selected. And then click on save. And then restart your computer and then relaunch the game. Next is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to network and internet, network and sharing center. Now we click on your internet connection over here and then click on properties. Select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on properties. Click on use the following DNS server addresses. Type in 8888. Also type in uh, for alternate type in 8844. Put a check on validate settings upon exit. Click on OK. Close this. And now once done, now you can relaunch the game and then check. If not working, you can use this. Cloudflare DNS server. Now for this, you can again go to the same location. Click on your Wi-Fi. Properties. Again, select Internet Protocol version 4. Properties. And this time you can type in 1111. And for the alternate, type in 1001. Validate settings upon exit. Click on OK. Close this. Again, relaunch the game and then check. Now, for many users, installing Cloudflare app has worked. So, after installing Cloudflare app, you can toggle it on and that has worked for many players. So, it might work for you. You can try that. Now, the next step is to uncheck IPv6. Now, for this, again, go to the same location. Click on the internet properties and over here you can see internet protocol version 6 if this is checked you can uncheck this box click on ok relaunch the game and then check and you might have to restart your computer restart your computer once and then relaunch the game now once you are done playing the game you can put a check on the internet protocol version 6 once again now the next step is to uninstall anything related to riot games and vanguard so if you have uh, Riot Vanguard or uh, like Vanguard or Riot client running over here. Close it and you can even uninstall these application and then re restart your computer and then relaunch the game. Now the next step is to disconnect USB devices. So if you have any kind of USB devices, USB, USB adapter, flash drive, thumb drive, you can disconnect it. Disconnect razor hand spent keyboard, key chrome keyboard or mouse. Unplug external keyboard and mouse. Unplug the dongle. Unplug external devices like if you have OTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it, disconnect headphone, relaunch the game and then connect the headphone back. Now the next step is to make sure secure boot and TPM 2.0 is enabled in your system BIOS. Now I have made a separate video on how to enable secure boot and TPM 2.0 in system BIOS to play Battlefield 6. The link is provided in the video description. You can follow the steps from here. But before you make any changes, if you are not used to make changes in BIOS settings, contact your system, uh, contact your PC manufacturer, technical support team. They will help you with that because incorrect changes in the BIOS settings may result in no boot issue and other issues. Now, the next step is to enable or disable memory integrity. Now, when you disable memory integrity, your device is vulnerable. So make sure that you enable it immediately once you are done playing the game. To enable the memory integrity, type in core isolation in Windows search box and then click on core isolation. And over here, 
if memory integrity is off over here, you can turn it on. In my case, it is already on. And once you turn it on, you have to restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. If memory integrity is already on, then you can turn it off. Click on yes. Let me inform you that when you turn it off, memory integrity is off, your device may be vulnerable. So you can do it at your own risk and then restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, once you're done playing the game, you can enable it once again. Because disabling it is not good. So once you're done playing the game, you can enable it once again. Now, the next step is to create new Windows admin account. This has also worked. So you can go to Windows settings, go to accounts, and then go to other users, add account. And over here, click on I don't have this person's sign in information. Click over here. And then click on add a user without Microsoft account. You can name it. You can create a username. This is just an example. If you want a password, you can enter the password. If you don't want it, leave it blank. And then you can click on the new account which you have created. Click on change account type and then set it to administrator. Click on OK. And then you can log out and log in. You can log and then you can log into the new account which you have created. And once logged in, install the game and then relaunch the game. Next step is to switch to different network or you can use mobile hotspot. So if you have any other network available, you can switch to different network and then you can check. If that does not work, you can use mobile hotspot on your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can connect to your phone network over here and then you can check. Next step is to install the game to external drive. So if the game is installed to C drive then or internal drive, you can try to install the game to external drive and then you can check. If the game is already installed to external drive, you can try installing the game to internal drive, that is C drive, and then check. This, this is a weird fix, but has worked for few players. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, go to Win privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, click on manager and ransomware protection, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then go to the game installation folder, and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browse all apps, select the second exe file, that is e anti cheat game service launcher. Also, browse all apps, and then open e anti cheat. Select this one too. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, and then click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then go to the game installation folder and add all the exe file. Click on add. In my case, it is already added. Once it is added for every all Battlefield 6 uh, exe file, make sure both private and public both are checked and then click on allow another app browse and then select this EA anti cheat game service launcher click on add again in my case the game is already added once it is added you can make sure EA javelin anti cheat both private and public checked allow another app click on browse and then again open EA anti cheat select this exe file add it in my case, it is already added. Again, make sure private and public both are checked. Now, still not working. Uh, now, if you have any third-party antivirus, like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow all the three exe file to your antivirus program. Now, many users have disabled the Windows firewall, and that has worked for many players. But I would not recommend you to disable the firewall. Do not disable it. Instead, you allow the game exe file, all the three exe file to Windows Firewall. Now, the next step is to turn off or turn on VPN. So if you're using VPN, uh, you can turn it off and then close VPN and then check. For many users, closing the VPN has worked. So if you're not using VPN, you can even try using the VPN. You can turn it on and then check. So check, you know, try both. Now the next Steam users open EA app before launching the game. So if you have the, uh, game on like 
Steam. I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on EA app. I have added the game to Steam. So if you have the game on Steam, uh, you can go to uh, and just uh, open EA app before you launch the game. If you have EA app installed, launch the EA app and then check. If that does not work, if EA app is already running, you can close EA app. For many users, closing the EA app and then launching has also worked. But let me open it because I have the game on EA app. Now, the next step is to perform power cycle. For, for this, shut down your computer. Unplug the power cable from the computer. Turn off the Wi-Fi router. Wait for a few seconds. Restart the Wi-Fi router. Connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. So you can go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. Uh, you can go to the game installation folder. And then run the game as an administrator. You can make a right click on Battlefield 6 properties. Go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK launch the game and then check if that does not work do the same thing with this exe file properties and put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then relaunch the game still not working the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow and then copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key Now once done, restart the computer. And after the system restart, you launch the game and then check. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has Ethernet port and if you have Ethernet cable, use the wired connection and then check. Make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any error in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. Once you see the tick over here, go to time and language, language and region, and then make sure your country is selected over here. And then relaunch the game. Next step is to go to this location. So for open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, open app data folder local folder and then open battlefield 6 folder and then you can rename this folder don't delete it just rename it and then you can launch the game the next step is to verify or repair the game file if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files after the verification launch the game if you have the game on e app go to manage repair it once the repair is done launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the this error code. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.